Next, we're going to look at some problems where we're going to simplify. Um, and we're going to assume all variables are positive. And we'll kind of touch on why that's the case in a future lesson. I'm going to look at um, three problems, which are square root of 625. And we can start to see the square root symbol showing up, which sort of looks like long division. Um, we're going to look at the square root of 0 0.0081. And we're going to also look at the square root of a to the fourth, b to the second. So this is basically saying we have a square with an area of 625. What are the side lengths? Um, and so we can just guess and check this um, in this lesson. And in, in future lessons, we'll start to look at numbers that are not perfect squares. Um, so there is sort of this assumption with these problems that they're probably going to come out nice. And on a calculator, we can maybe hand type in some numbers. Like 20 times 20 is 400 we can see that this ends with a five. So it probably means that um, we need five times five to get us a five there when we do long, to, uh, sorry, long multiplication. Um, and with that, if we said, well, maybe 25 works because it's bigger than 20, 20 squared is 400, um, and we multiply out 25, we do get 625. So when we go through these, um, you can sort of hone in on a value, test it in the calculator, um, or hand multiply it out to see if it works. Another strategy is if it has a decimal um, in the last non-zero digits like this, 81 or a perfect square, um, what you can do is, well, we know the square root of 81 will be nine, and we know that this has four decimal places behind the decimal point. And so if we were to place two digits behind the decimal point, 0 0.09 times 0 0.09, if you were to long multiply this out, you would need to move the decimal point four places to the left. Um, so what we can do is sort of ignore and write down a value that we think might work and place the decimal point accordingly and then double check that it did, in fact, check out. And uh, also with variables, um, we can, this is um, asking us to find the side length of a square if its area is a to the fourth, b to the second. Um, and so we could say to ourselves, well, this can be thought of as going back to exponent properties a squared times a squared, because um, a squared times a squared is a to the fourth. And so the square root would be a to the second. And b squared is also a perfect square because b times b is b squared, which means that the square root of b squared would be just b. So we have a squared b. And as we do more with variables, you'll probably also pick up on some uh, different tricks. And you can also check this um, by saying a squared b, if that were the side length of the square, times a squared b when multiplied out. Multiplying with the same base, we add the exponents. Oh yeah, and we can see that it does check out with what we had previously.